Well, you've got a nip here, a tuck there. Medical advances and breakthrough technologies aren't the only trends changing the face of cosmetic procedures. More men than ever before are using cosmetic techniques to enhance their appearance and body shape. Dr. Bill Johnson of Innovations Med Spa has seen the growing trend firsthand. Is this taboo to talk about men having cosmetic surgery? Well, men don't like to talk about it much. Yeah. So we've got a lot of men we've done, but we don't have a lot of pictures or video we can show. See, women will we'll kiss and tell or cut and tell, but, yes. but men don't. Men don't. <laughs> But you can perform all the same procedures on men that you do on women. Basically, everything we can do on women, we can do on men. Mm -hmm. Now, in fact, when you get down to it, men don't take as good a care of their skin as most women. They don't use sunblock. They don't use moisturizers. And so for a large part, men actually have more issues than women do. And see, so you see a large number of men in your office, too, more than any other office might see. We see more, about twice the average number of men as the average aesthetic office. Why do you think that is? I think a big portion of it is so much of our material, things that we do mm -hmm. is non-invasive. Mm -hmm. So the men can come in and go right back to work for most of it or certainly back to work by the next day. What do they most commonly want? The first thing most men want is to get rid of rosacea, the red color and the dilated veins and the brown spots. And we do that with a device called Intense Pulse Light mm -hmm. or a vascular laser. All right. And Wrink I, I mean, I just can't imagine men worried about wrinkles because you know, women, we think that it's attractive on men. And of course, when we have wrinkles, oh my gosh, you've got to get them removed right well, away. We do a lot of men with Botox. Hmm. Bo Botox, men will in particular on their foreheads mm -hmm. and on the glabella, the area between the eyes, you will see men uh, in, get a lot of Botox because when they get older, we tend to look angry mm -hmm. or we tend to look tired or even sleepy and the Botox can really help with that angry appearance or with the sleepy kind of droopy appearance yeah. that we can get. It's interesting that when you see a man who has lost a few wrinkles um, because of Botox, we just think that he's gotten rest of the weekend, whereas we might assume something different with a woman. That's exactly right. And Thermage is a good option for men wanting some permanent wrinkle reduction. Okay, and, and they're willing to do that. And we've had a number of men do Thermage. Mm -hmm. But they won't do the fillers. Fillers are much less com uh, common to see men do. Mm -hmm. Fillers do very well on men in the nasolabial folds, in particular the area here by the cheek, between the cheek and mouth, and the marionette lines, the lines that'll come down from mm -hmm. your corners of your mouth. Mm -hmm. But men aren't real prone to do that. They're not as worried about that as women are. Yeah, yeah. Can you just tell when you see a person what type of procedure they've had performed? I can tell a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can tell the quality of their work and you can tell what, uh, in general, what they've had done. All right. Yeah. Now, what about a man's body when it comes to their body? Are they willing to go that far as well? I think more men are willing to do bodies than they are their face. It's a little less, they can hide it a little better. Mm -hmm. It's not as obvious. Mm -hmm. We've done quite a few. And so what type of procedure would they get? Most men do their abdomens or their love handles with smart lipo. They're getting tummy tucks? They're getting <laughs> liposuction. Okay. Yeah, tummy tucks are much more mm -hmm. unusual, but they will come in and do liposuction. And we do smart lipo on just about all the men we do to get good skin tightening. Wow. And then on the heavier men, we will add the vaser tools so we can get rid of the beer bellies. You know, and I'm. It's wonderful to hear that men are willing to do this because I would imagine that most men would be very resistant to it. They're more and more willing to address it and especially the men that have become body conscious and start to realize, you know, no matter how hard I work out, no matter what I do, right, right. I still have this pooch here or these love handles here. Do they talk to their wives about it first? Most of them do. Uh -huh. Yeah, and most of them have been encouraged by their wives. Yeah, yeah. Or and I would think that that would help them make the decision to go ahead and, and do it. Now, what about, because some men have, uh, uh, <laughs> Ben Stiller, I think, made fun of it on his show. He called it men who have to wear man's ears right. uh, with the <laughs> enlarged breasts. Right. Uh, gynecomastia is the technical term mm -hmm. and we've done a number of cases of gynecomastia and it responds very well to smart lipo invasor. It is important that we understand why mm -hmm. the men have enlarged breasts and sometimes there may be an underlying hormonal issue that needs to be addressed first. All right. But once those are addressed, it's uh, 
fairly simple surgically to go in and reduce the breast and get good skin tightening. We had looked at some pictures um, of the different procedures being performed. Now, but on this procedure that you mentioned, exactly what is taking place? This is a patient that had both phaser and smart lipo mm -hmm. on the abdomen. So you can see that what a big reduction in his abdominal girth before mm -hmm. and after. That's not from his tightening his muscles. Now this is a great example of doing the breasts. You can see on the before picture the patient has fairly significant breasts mm -hmm. and afterwards the breasts are gone and he's gotten good skin tightening and looks much better. Okay. Oh, and the chin. And the chin mm -hmm. is another real exciting area that men do with smart lipo. And uh, this gentleman will probably get some more tightening before it's all said and done. But you can see how much better that chin area looks. Wow, wonderful. Looks great. And congratulations to you on the opening of your new location. We're hoping to be open by October 15th in Dallas. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Innovations Med Spa's main office is located at 1601 Lancaster in Grapevine. And now there is a new location. Location. And on what date? On October 15th. On October the 15th, there'll be a Coit Road in Dallas. For more information, call 817-410-7970 or log on to their website at innovationsmedspa.com. We'll be right back.